Another amazing organization that has a wonderful partnership with We Are Iowa, and that is Variety, the children's charity. And they have two days of compassion that are coming up around the corner. So we're very excited to talk to the committee chair of the two days of compassion with Variety, and that's Kim Butler Hedges. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, gosh, thanks for having us. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about uh, Variety and, of course, these very important two days that are coming up next week. Absolutely. So um, a lot of people are familiar with Variety and the wonderful work we do with children's organizations all across the state of Iowa. One of the favorite things that, um, for me personally, that Variety does is we have a compassion fund, which is a pool of money that is readily available to healthcare workers who may see a family with a critically ill child struggling to make basic financial um, commitments, whether it's a tank of gas, lodging, meals while their children are in the hospital. Um, no questions asked, it's immediately available. Um, they just need to reach out to Variety and we help those families that are in need during a very stressful time. All right, you mentioned, you said that uh, you're talking about healthcare workers that see a need and then they reach out to Variety and then you can help fulfill that need. That's correct. Wow. And a lot of times it's little things, as you mentioned there, that people don't think about it, like gas to get to and from uh, their appointments and to the hospital. It's little things that can truly make a difference. Right. I mean, we serve ch the, the hospitals in, in Des Moines serve children from all over the state. And so it can be a hardship for these families to make that commute or even care for children that are left back at home. So um, or it can be a utility bill or a phone bill, really um, anything that they're struggling with to uh, make that that financial commitment. Kim, and again, no questions asked. There's no grant application. Um, they simply need to call Variety and we make it happen. All right, Kim, is there any one thing in particular that seems to uh, happen over and over again where people need the most help with? It seems to be the gas cards or lodging or meals where if they, again, if they're traveling from anywhere in the state of Iowa and they have to uh, to stay in Des Moines, maybe they don't have family or friends here that they, that they can uh, stay with. And so there's, you know, needs of just basic needs, food, transportation, and, and lodging. And I'm glad you mentioned that or highlighting that because a lot of times when we think critically ill children, we're thinking, oh, well, you know, medical bills and everything else that yes, that is a, a part of the burden. Mm -hmm. But if we can just help with the basics of making sure they have a warm meal, a place to stay, that's really gonna help these families in time of need. Uh, so you guys, really make a big difference by holding two days of compassion, which is a radiothon. Talk about that and how we can get inspired to give back as many of us are thinking about that on this Giving Tuesday. So two days of compassion is hosted by 92.5 KJJY. Um, they do it every year. It's going to be December 8th and 9th this year. So coming up just a week from today, um, you can on those two days call in to 515-276-6669 or you can go online to Variety Iowa backslash compassion and give it any time. Yeah, the folks over at KJJY, they have really embraced this and they have done so for many, many years. Uh, do we have a, a target goal that we're trying to achieve uh, at the end of the two days of compassion? Um, going in, we uh, solicit sponsorship, but certainly um, invite our caller, our listeners to call in. Um, listenership is up 25% this year because people are working from home. Um, our goal would be to raise $125,000 over those two days. Wow, that is a lot of money. And that could really make a difference in a lot of lives, can it? Absolutely. And again, it's, you know, it's simple things. And what I like best about it is there's no, no questions asked. There's no application. There's no really qualifier other than uh, a healthcare professional observing a family in need. Yeah, it could be as simple as a birthday cake for someone who has to be celebrating a special day in a hospital room. Uh, so let's talk about variety itself. And we're all dealing with hard times right now, difficult times, different times. Uh, talk about how variety is still forging ahead and helping kids across the state of Iowa. You know, it's been amazing. I think, you know, we all had a great deal of anxiety with um, events being canceled and uh, needing to, and I hate this word, I've got a vocabulary list for 2020, by the way, and, and pivot is one of them. But, uh, <laughs> Big time. <laughs> I think uh, we've done a really great job with people that, um, that love variety and have been able to still leverage um, giving. So we've been able to host a couple of our events virtually. We actually did our golf event in person, which was wonderful to see everybody out and about it. It was a gorgeous day. So um, it, it's a challenge, but I think, you know, people recognize that there's, there's still a need. The need doesn't go away. And and they care for Iowa's children. So, you know, we're hanging in there. The staff is just phenomenal. They're, uh, they're staying strong and they're being creative. And, and look at this, we're on a Zoom meeting for a, a live interview. 
Yeah, a lot of people look forward to the two days of compassion because of stories that you hear throughout the entire time because it starts at 6 in the morning and continues all the way till 6 p.m. on both days uh, really is, is heartfelt and people can really relate to uh, what is going on and how your dollars can really make a difference, can't they? It's amazing to, uh, to be on that phone bank and the people that call in and the stories they have to tell. We've got some regulars that um, want to be the first ones to give when the phones open up at 6 a.m. So people are aware and follow the t two days of compassion. But I've even answered the phone for somebody passing through Des Moines and just happened to be listening. And they were traveling from Omaha to Iowa City with their um, their sick child for a treatment. And it, it spoke to them. And, and even though they were the ones struggling with the sick child, they called and donated. Wow. So I usually cry at least once or twice during the day with these stories that come in. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to be a part of two days of compassion, which is coming up right around the corner, uh, you can listen in. You can call in, as you mentioned, or you can donate at any time. If you are so compelled by what you're hearing right now, you can go to the website varietyiowa.com backslash compassion and you can donate right now to truly make a difference because it, any donation, large or small, is going to help provide relief and hope to families who are seeking care at this time. Yeah, Kim, I and think- And it you... is Giving Tuesday, which is top of mind. So again, if you want to go online, you don't need to wait until next week. That's awesome, Kim. Go. I think you're gonna surpass your goal, especially with the caring people we have here in Central Iowa too. Uh, again, two days of compassion happening next week. It's the eighth and ninth, starts at six in the morning, goes till 6 p.m. on 92.5 KJJY. If you have never listened to it before, you're gonna to wanna to listen to it this year especially. Kim, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you.